Uh, team of the week is Portland Lumberjacks. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Kelsey Trader. So that's a very yeah, good Yeah, the uh, Kelsey Trader. So obviously, Pork's quite annoyed because Pork had the second highest score in division. Up Pork, so he came up against the Portland Lumberjacks. Who he has traded well, a couple of players with, so it's his own fault. Well, I mean, it's uh, that this was a big Kelsey trade, wasn't it? And since, since then, I don't, I, I, you know, he's been on some run in uh, nine and three. So it just goes to show that you know all of those players that he gave away, he did not need them. No. And it's, no, he did. Uh, it. He's got yeah. the IR as well, but no, it's, it, was, it was basically the perfect lineup. Apart I mean, from the kicker. Cool. You, so. the, the, the scoring's great, you know. It's, it's the game, it was a Gabe Davis week, you know, which always helps because uh, he's uh, very active, you know, he's absolute boomer bust. I actually, oh, yeah. chucked, he, he'd had a couple of bad weeks, so I felt he was due one this week and I chucked him in myself. But, um, and, and a few leagues I've got him in, you know, and he, he's, he helped me out no end, but yeah, so big score there from him. And Stevenson's now starting to score, Charbonnet with, uh, with. What's his Walker. face out? Walker out, you know. He's uh, so so that's a good pick up. Alan, you know that came from absolutely nowhere. They were, that was, yes. I mean, they were pretty much scored in the second half, just about all of those points. But yeah, great great points returned from him again, and two hundred and seventy seven points with minus from the kicker. Cannot complain. No, definitely. Like I say, obviously, if Foreman's fit next week, the way the Bears couldn't run the ball, and I'm guessing he'll be back in the lineup next week. Because that's yeah, they give Johnson a lot of touches there. I think that could be coming. That might be coming Johnson's uh, backfield, so they can see what he can do. Because I mean, well, at four and eight, I know they won, but they're four and eight. They're not going to go anywhere. So uh, why not give the rookie a go? Well, then, but four men didn't play you last night, and they couldn't get a bloody touchdown because they couldn't run it in from fucking five yards. So well, that's so, uh, that, that's another <laughs> point. But I do think that I do think Rashad Johnson will get his chances. And the and the uh, the rest of the season, you know, now now that you had a nice catch and run, you had a nice catch and run last night. That was about all they did last night. But it's, but yeah. uh, I mean, it's, it's a solid team for Portland. You know that nine and three, they're, they're in the they're in the playoffs now. So yeah, he'll he'll be cheesing. Definitely. So the Rousey Cup quarterfinal results: Bognor Regis Falcons had three hundred eighty-five point five five against Whitford Educators four forty fifteen. Leicester Tigers, 401-67, come up against the high-scoring South London Rebels, 4-3-1-10. Kilmarnock Kings, 353.14 against 336.45 Banquet Citizens. The Darlow Destroyers, 378.39, came up against another high-scorer, Whitchurch Warriors, 454.81. So, not too close in the end. There's a couple of close ones throughout the, the games, but... Yeah, Not I mean, really that's quite so. a tight one. The Kilmarnock Kings here beating the uh, Ancoat Citizens, you know, it's uh, over two legs, uh, less than 20 points is a tight game, you know, it's uh, close. Good, good, win high, the, good win for the Kilmarnock Kings, you know. The usually high score in Leicester Tigers had a down week this week with a whole 180 points, but for them, that's a low they score. Did, yeah. And it's basically cost them getting into the semis. Was, well, that, was the tie, that was the tie of the quarter, that one, that was just... Awesome. It's and it's a big turnaround in the second mm-hmm. leg, you know, after after Leicester Tigers leading the first leg so so much, you know. So yeah, so it's quite worth the educators and the uh, South London Rebels, and then it's the Commander Kings and the uh, Whitchurch Warriors. And that's the way it actually is. There you go. So South London Rebels and Whitchurch Educators against Commander Kings, you know. Which Whitworth and Whitchurch, yeah. too bloody hard that was. Yeah, so it should be a. Good one. If the Derek will be happy getting through, but his team's going to have to score a lot more to cut to stay all the way with uh, the Witcher Warriors because they've been one of the higher scoring teams the last few weeks. So it should be interesting. Although it is bye week, yeah, well, it is. two weeks, so and there's a lot of players on bye this week, so that might make a big difference. There will be. There, there's a lot of players on bye this week. I think this week's one of the bigger bye bye weeks, uh, uh, and yeah, there's the, it, it's. It, Teams who are chasing a playoff spot are going to be very, very gutted when they go into their teams this week and see just who they've got in buys, I would think. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, but Kilmarnock Kings will need to turn it round. They've had a couple of bad, you know, not great scoring weeks. So um, big game, you know, second favourites there, big time. And uh, the South London Rebels have been flying. So, you know, that's a, a tough one for Whitworth educators as well. But um, yeah. yeah. 
looking forward to see how it comes out. And of course, it's uh, it's uh, league versus league. Marwick Head have got two of the yeah, so they're guaranteed the final. In. Yeah, so Marwick Head are guaranteed to get a team in the final, which is really good. Because in in the quarters, it was three May's how and only one got through. <laughs> 